hey, thanks for giving me an excuse to buy more stuff. In this case, I bought something for my Nissan 350Z. If you have a problem where either your brake lights don't work there, your top won't go down, your cruise control won't disengage, or your brakes are just locked up and totally won't move at all, there's no movement in your pedal, there's one solution, well, kind of, kind of two, that might fix any of these issues for you. And I'm gonna show you what I did and then what I did wrong and how to do it right. So assuming you have the car started and you have your foot on the brake pedal and you push this button to put your top down or up either way, it doesn't do anything. The problem probably isn't this switch here. The problem is actually right here. See these two, or see this wire here and here? Those are actually connected to the brake pedal, to this bar here. And what happens is those are a switch and when you push the brake pedal in, both of those release. So they should be engaged and released. Now this bottom one, the brown one, is for your cruise control. So if your cruise control doesn't disengage, this one might be bad. It might just need adjusted. We'll look at that in a minute, but it might be bad. Um, I'll have links down below on where you can get these. These are for an automatic. I don't have a clutch here. I know the parts for a manual are just a little bit different, so make sure you uh, pay attention to what you're getting. This top one, though, is actually a switch, and that is what engages your brake lights. And it also tells the top on the car that you have press the brake pedal and you can put the top down or up. And it won't move if the switch is bad. This actually was bad on mine. My cruise control worked okay, but the top one went bad. There's hopefully a better look at what they look like. And then you can see the pedal just pushes against that. Now I can barely move it now that I've, uh, I've got, not got the car on and the brakes have pumped up. But that's also one of the problems we're gonna talk about after I show you how to replace these. It's actually really easy to do. You just twist it counterclockwise it turns about a quarter of a turn, maybe not quite, and then it just slides out. Then from there, the wire just comes unclipped. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. You push this button in and it pops off. That's what it looks like. That's the cruise, and you do the same thing with the top one. Turn it, there we go, and it pulls out. That's what that one looks like. This one, the button is on the side and you push that in. Now again, the brown one on the bottom is the cruise control. The top one controls your brake lights and the top. If you have a convertible and the top won't go down, it's probably because of this. When you push this in, it should have a good mechanical click. Mine didn't and I had to replace it. It's like $20 on Amazon. If you're not sure, you can put a continuity tester. I think it was open when it was uh, just connected and then when you push the button in, it closed. I think that's how it was on both of them. I did that on this one and confirmed that it was broken. If you replace these, it's going to fix the appropriate issue, whatever it is. If your brake lights don't work, your top doesn't work. Uh, my top didn't work, and I didn't even realize my brakes weren't working, so that was very important to get replaced. Um, the cruise is the same way. The problem becomes when you go to put them in, your instinct is going to be to push the pedal down, and you see these grooves? These grooves are actually how it's adjusted. So you're going to want to push the pedal down, slide this in, and then twist it all the way and that is the worst thing you can do because what happens is when you do that your brake pedal won't disengage all the way it actually prevents your brake pedal from coming out so it kind of gets stuck about right there and because it can't disengage your brake boost won't ever release all the way and you kind of end up driving around with locked up brakes which is very dangerous so what you have to do when you put these in first I'm going to plug them back in I might need two hands for that just plug these back in here. They just snap on really easy. Unless you drop them. There we go. So there are the holes and the black one goes in the top. There we go. So get that so it will slide. Get the wire out of the way. There we go. So get that so it will slide in and you can push it in all the way, but you wanna just push it until you feel the button recess and it bottoms out just a little bit and then twist and wherever you're at is the right twist spot because of these threads on here there are a lot of them and it will adjust to the right depth so then do the same thing again with the cruise switch there we go so then slide that in until you can feel it recess don't push hard just until it engages and then twist wherever it is and then there you go those will be adjusted properly. It took me quite a while to figure this out, but I found a lot of people were having this problem when they change these switches. You want to push them in all the way, and it's a, about a quarter of the way from all the way in. 
There, once you do that, your brakes should work again, your top should be able to go down, your cruise control should be able to work again, and if you install them properly, your brakes won't lock up on you and catch on fire, which is, is generally a good thing. I bought a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm planning on showing pretty much everything I bought here on this channel. So if you enjoy it, subscribe. If you need one of these parts, link down below. This is for the automatic. I have them linked. If I can figure out which one's for the manual, it's just a little bit different, I'll link that one too. It's uh, for a 2003 through 2008 Nissan 350Z. They're all the same for this switch at least, so that should be good. So until next time, thanks for giving me an excuse to buy more stuff.